Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I thought I'd give you a little review on my thoughts of some of the um, diamond painting companies. Uh, this is just my own personal view. Um, other people may well have had different experiences with them and I'm not taking away from those, whether they be good or bad. Um, but this is my personal thought on a few. So this first one is Home Fun or Home Fun, uh, H-O-M-F-U-N, and this is also known as the Anna Store. Now I've only purchased one painting from them, and that is this big 60 by 90, which I have recently framed, and I think looks absolutely amazing. Um, I'm really, really impressed with how this has turned out and hopefully this is going to go into my daughter's room. So this is a full drill and this is a square drill. Now, when I first got this from the company, um, I did do a video on sort of setting it up and what I'd got. Uh, I'd never did like a full on straight unboxing. Now, when it arrived, the drills were quite tightly packed, however, within the canvas. However, the canvas itself, I thought, was fine quality. Um, I did have a few issues with oily drills. I did just plough on and work with them anyway. Um, I didn't so much know about the whole washing of them um, and, you know, how to sort of neaten them up. I just wanted to get going. I've not found any problems with any of them popping off. Um, I've had this one from finished. I had it rolled up, uh, drills facing inwards and outwards actually, before I realized this should be outwards, I had it inwards. Um, had it stored, pulled it out a few times to show people. Never had a problem with drills dropping off. Uh, I had a few drills that had little holes in them. Um, and I did actually, um, accept that I'd received the order before I did inventory. As I say, I think this was the second one that I got um, off AliExpress. I hadn't quite got into the rhythm or the roll of it. Um, and I did realise that I was short one bag of 3865 because it came empty, um, sort of in the string of colours. I did message them. Uh, they did say they were sending them. Uh, there was a whole language barrier thing and, you know, uh, they said sort of, yes, my friend, and, and I thought, okay, and carried on. Um, I haven't had them turn up yet. Um, whether they were sent, I can't comment on that. I wasn't the one that um, may or may not have sent them. However, I didn't need them. Uh, I found there was plenty of drills, even for the odd ones that I did find the colourings were... A little bit off it's as though they were a little bit dirty even with that even with ignoring them there was plenty of drills so while I had my doubts um, because of a few things that people had said and I did have oily drills all in all I'd try this company again it shipped it ships safe the picture looks fantastic the color looks awesome and yeah, I'd try them again. I would inventory before I agreed that I'd received it, um, but I would still work with this company again. Uh, I've actually found one. It's only a tiny one, uh, but I do think I quite like it from this company and I'm, I'm going to give it a go just to compare doing that little tiny one and still seeing how much detail you can get. Uh, but yeah, this is home fun. Um, I find their site... I actually find the fact that you can choose the size up to ginormous, like even bigger than this. They do a very wide range of sizes. They let you order in square or round drills, depending on what you prefer. So actually shopping on their site is really nice. Um, I will, of course, give you an update when I get any more from them. But for the moment, home form for me is a yes, I will purchase from again. So I'm going to set up another painting because this one, uh, you can even see me in the reflection, try and hide out the way, but 
it's shiny, it's all through the glass, none of the beads are popping off, awesome. So that's to just give you my view on Home Fun on AliExpress, which is also known as the Anna Store. And then I will give you my lowdown on a few others that I've done and also my thoughts. Speak to you in a moment. Okay, so now for my thoughts on who I can. I've had, I've completed two from who I can and I have just had three arrive, um, which the unboxing should already be up. Now, one of them was this monkey. This is in round. You'll have to uh, apologize for the glare from my light. Um, but this one I have framed in just an Ikea five pound frame. And the background gray is actually the mount that came in it. So um, the round, I had no problems whatsoever with this from here I can. So all the drills and that went on fine, no problems with the canvas, no problems with anything popping up and I think he looks pretty cool. So that was the round from here I can. This is the one that I have just finished which is a 60 by 45 square from here I can. This one drove me a little bit batty. Now, um, I know a few people have been commenting recently that there's little burrs, as they call them, on the drills. Now, I have sort of pulled out a couple here to see if we can get the camera to focus on it. But there are a couple, you can see it more so in this one, that do have a little sort of little bit on the end as though it was grouping on to its brother or sister and has not quite let go. Now, you can't see it as much on the others, but they are there. They're actually sort of on the edge, which means that when you actually put them on the canvas, so you can probably see this one as well. Uh, when you put them onto the canvas, they do actually take up more than their square, if that makes sense. So they do end up sticking out a little bit. Now I found this colour the worst one, um, which was 647, which is this pale green. However, I am finding, I have gone over this with a rolling pin, but I am finding that the 819, which was actually, you know, what you'd call a perfect square when you're working with it, is actually popping up. I mean, I've even, look, I've got one here, that has, has popped out while I've been trying to push them back in. So I don't know whether the glue isn't as sticky or not. I'm going to see if I can zoom in and see if you can see. Okay, that's as far in as I can zoom. I don't want to move it too much because frankly I want to get this behind a frame. But especially around this Statue of Liberty, they just all keep popping up and it's all these greens and these pinks and it's, it's driving me up the wall. So they just keep lifting just that little bit. I mean, it's a very confetti picture anyway. But yeah, like I've gone over this with a rolling pin and all you can hear is crack, crack, crack as they all settle back down and I'm still finding ones to push down and that's just looking at it that's before I even run my finger over it and realized that there's there's actually more so let me scroll back out again because we're not really um, getting to see it I mean the picture looks great I've ordered a frame that is more the actual size of the picture rather than that five pound Ikea frame though they work great um, I do want to try one that's its actual size to see if, you know, none of them fall out once the frame's on. But I'm going to have to give this another go over with a rolling pin just to try and make it settle. So that's, this has put me off who I can a little bit, or at least who I can with a square. 
um, because as, as much as I don't mind going over them with a rolling pin, make sure they've settled, pop them in a frame, you know, that's it, my artwork's finished. I don't want to be going over it all the time just to try and make it flat. And this bottom corner with the yellows and stuff, this has all been perfectly fine. Um, it's as soon as you get to this green and pink, they're just popping up all over the show. And, you know, they will go back down, but then they're just popping up again. And I keep losing the odd diamond and having to throw it back in. So, this has turned me off here a can of it. Um, if you've watched my unboxing, I've recently just got, this is one of the ones I got from Huracan Little Penguin. Um, this one does have a um, rivet in the back of the canvas. I'm trying to get it on the light now. So it's got this river, but there's nowhere for it to squeeze out without me actually chopping the canvas. Um, I can't squeeze it out. So I've tried cutting the glue on the front. I've had this up a few times trying to cut this glue, but of course the glue sits over the top of the canvas. I can't get the canvas to go flat. So that's annoyed me on this little one. I have messaged them. They may well save themselves, we will see. Uh, there was also quite a big river put in the glue in this top one. So that's slightly disappointed me. I've never had that with their canvases. Also, now this just may be because they've annoyed me a little bit um, that I'm being a little bit negative. But um, on this one that I've just got, the glue was actually lifted up on this bottom corner. But it does see as though, seem as though the glue isn't quite stuck down because they are all the same symbol. But they seem to go sort of different colours. Now, I have tried giving it a good, you know, rub down with my hand to try and make sure that the adhesive goes down. And then it, it does tend to make it blacker, but it's like the tape that they've used is a little bit hazy. Now, it may not affect how it works, it's not gonna stop me doing it. Um, but the fact that the glue was all rolled up and that um, disappointed me a little bit. Um, I did check off all the drills. I couldn't see any dodgy drills like these little green bits that, that have the little bobbly bits on the end, these ones. Um, I did have this same color in one of the kits so I was able to check whether it was the colour however even when I tip this out it's quite often they don't show up until you put them on the canvas um, so it can be hard to see them by just checking so at the moment my thoughts on who I can if I want a round one awesome great fantastic who I can no problems at all um, for square I'm not sure. Um, I think these three that I'd ordered before I started having the problems with this one, um, these three that I'd already ordered, I will do. Um, and I will see how they turn out. If I have the same sort of issues, then who can will be off my list. Because I'd, I'd rather pay more or pay another company that has the quality control. That's just my opinion. I don't mind paying for these if they're quality. Um, that's part of the reason I've got an Ever Moment if they, I've got it on its way. If they are as good as they say, I will be more than happy to become one company loyal. Or two or three, depending on any other companies that I've um, tried and used. But yeah, so who I can, a little bit reserved for me at the moment. We'll see how these three go they may win themselves back and I'll put this one down to being a glitch but we'll see how they go so that's my thoughts on who I can um, I'm going to go and grab another one um, well I've got another two companies to sort of review I'm going to go and grab my other completed diamond painting first and give you my thoughts on that one uh, before I give you my thoughts on one that has arrived that I've not yet done um, However, they have made an impression 
already, should we say. So yeah, that's my Hua Can. I'll be back shortly with the next one. Okay, so my next company to review is Zuya. Again, these are all my personal opinion. Um, it is not, you know, to take away from what anybody else has experienced with them. So this one, I'm shortly gonna be framing on some black mount board, but I thought I'd include it in this review before I get that done. So this was from Zuya. It is a five panel. It was square, full drill square from AliExpress. Um, it arrived, it arrived beautifully packaged. Um, each of them were all rolled up. Um, canvas was clear, inventory sheets and diamond count was all there. Everything was included. Didn't have any need to contact the seller um, straight away at all. Working on it, um, it was nice. It all fits together. Even, you know, the black, yes, it did have its usual standard trash, as it's called, um, but I've had no problems with drills popping up. I've had no problems with drills disappearing. And this has been moved about a few times. So I'd be working on one panel, but then I'd throw them all on top of the other, I'd throw them all on the desk, move them all about that way. Not had a problem at all not had any drills that have gone missing in fact i struggled trying to get the odd um bubble drill out that i'd actually put in <laughs> so i could get it prepped for framing so that's my own fault uh, i've got a couple of bits attached to it because i did unfortunately drop one um, on the way in um but yeah i found the company the canvas to all be great i did have one color that i did run out of um, it did say on the inventory sheet, I think that I needed about 195 and they sent me one bag uh, for the bags that are an average of 200. Obviously the average was not that good in that bag. Now, um, I didn't contact the seller only because somebody kindly agreed to um, share a spare pack they had um, on the site Got Diamonds UK. Um, so I just, I didn't bother. It was, there was about 20. That was it. The inventory was all fine. It was just obviously the bag that I got had a bit less. Um, but it's not turned me off ordering from this company. In fact, I'm actually quite keen to order from this company again because I just, the quality of the canvas, the quality of the drills, I've not had any popping off no matter what I've done. Um, moving this about uh, I've not had I, I haven't even gone over this one in a rolling pin um, I haven't had to and even with going over with my hands I'm not feeling any that are popping up um, yeah they just they've gone down well they've stuck and I do need to fight with framing it but apart from that um, yeah Zuya gets a thumbs up from me um, this picture is gorgeous very reasonably priced shipping was rather quick um, yeah so that's my opinion on Zuya uh, they are good to go in my opinion um, so yeah let us know what your thoughts are below on some of these companies let me know if you've found them to be good bad or indifferent um, I'll try and knit back and maybe either do some of the framing for this one on camera. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I've got some sort of... Sorry, got interrupted uh, by the phone. My daughter has just landed back in the UK from a school trip. So um, I'll be going to pick her up shortly. But yeah, Zuya, um, I'm gonna order from them again. Um, I like them. I like their shipping. I like their pictures. And yeah, so that is Zuya, let me know um, what your thoughts are. I may have said that already. Let me know your thoughts on companies and whether you like them or not. Um, yeah, I do, to add a little addition to who I can, I do feel as though I've, I've treated these a little bit badly. Um, though 
of all the companies that I've dealt with, this so far uh, is not the top of my list um, due to the drill popping up issues and stuff that I've had. Um, and then a couple of canvas issues today. Having said that, they haven't had chance to correct them um, yet. So I'm not gonna write them off totally. Um, but it has disappointed me in the company. However, I will say um, their prices are very good. Um, and you know, sometimes that is a compromise you may have to make um, depending on your budget and things like that. Uh, but I will say their toolkits are awesome. So while well, they have the smaller of the two boats, because there is one that seems, the white boat seems to be slightly bigger. If you get their Huacan tweezers, absolutely amazing, love them. I also love their pens with the grips. Um, I do like the grip, even though as I work, they tend to slide further and further down and then I have to push them back up. Uh, but that would just be me. Um, I quite like the fact that they display in, they give the diamonds in bags by weight. I have never run out of a diamond with Huracan. So on the pluses, their toolkits are great, their prices are great. You, I have never run out of diamonds. I've never heard of anybody running out of diamonds with Huracan. So to give them some pluses, that is their pluses at the moment. Uh, they may get more depending on how they react to uh, the comments I've made and depending on how the three that I've yet to create, how they turn out when I actually get to do them. So that's all my completed diamond paintings. I've not done loads, but when I have done them, I've done them big. <laughs> uh, I've just got one more company that I do want to give um, my thoughts on or my initial thoughts on and then I may end up doing another video at some point once I've had a chance to do a couple more and I will give my review on actually working on this other painting and um, give you an update on who I can see whether the ones that I've just done are a bit better or not but yeah um, I wanted to give them some praise as well I don't want to feel as though it's all negative just because I've just finished this diamond painting and they annoyed me. So to put the one that I just want to give another shout about, this is the one that I have just received these two paintings from. I'm just going to get up the store name because I forgot what it was called. So this is Fuyun, F-U-Y-U-N, official store. I haven't started working on these yet. I have done inventory and I have done an unboxing. So if you want to see what you get, um, toolkit, etc. wise, then visit them. Um, but I do want to give them a little shout out. I did pull out the black from this painting in my unboxing and put them in a tray and for black drills they looked amazing absolutely amazing i also really like the canvas so far the canvas is really nice quality but what i really am liking um, which is not a negative against the hurricane round that i've done but is a plus for these is that the round circle that they put on their canvas is smaller than the actual square itself which I find will stop you having if a, if a round drill is misplaced ever so slightly it will stop you seeing the black outline so apart from the fact that their canvases are beautiful and I've had no problems whatsoever with them their black drills are amazing their canvases um, seem to be just fantastic. I like the fact, as I say, that the that the circles are slightly smaller, um, especially because my daughter's doing this one, um, and I haven't done a round in a while. So if they are slightly out of place, you're not 
seeing the edges in black. What you're seeing is the colour behind that you're supposed to see to help fill in those gaps where the round doesn't. Um, packaged beautifully, packaged by weight. I don't yet know whether there's enough or not because I've not done one. I can't comment on that. Um, but their website as well on AliExpress I think is amazing. Um, it's the best one I've seen for display. Uh, the reason being is that they you will see your thumbnail, but if you actually scroll on the pictures, they actually show you an example of what these look like as the drill field. So you can actually see by which size you're doing how good it will look. And the bigger you go, the better it looks. However, you can also see by one of these with a the smaller design how small you can get away with and still have a result that you're happy with when it's done. And to me, when shopping on there, that was that was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic and I cannot qualm with it at all. There is no problems in the canvas. Yes, there's a couple of folds on this one, but I've not had it squashed on anything. I've not had it underneath anything. Um, uh, but even the, this top one, you can hardly see them at all now. So, and they've not had anything on top of them apart from two packs of beads. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to Fuyon, which actually it's down here, F-U-Y-U-N. Uh, that's the official store on AliExpress. If I'm going to do more rounds, I'm, I'm definitely going to order some more from this store. The, they don't do square. That is the only thing. And I do like square. However, I'm giving round another go because I might switch between the two. So that's my final review on another store. I've just found another square bead here, which my guess has popped off the hua can. Uh, it may not, but it was definitely not here before. So I'm going to see if I can find where that's come off from. Um, attack it with a rolling pin again, and hopefully the frame will appear soon. I can get it framed and they won't come out again. But we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's my review on a few of the AliExpress stores that I've personally shopped at. Um, as I've said before, it is my opinion. Um, I. You know, if you've had a bad experience with a store, uh, you know, with a store that so far I'm thinking is wonderful, um, then I'm not taking away from that at all. Um, if you've had nothing but fantastic um, dealings with Huacan, there it is. Oh no, it's not, because that's a different color. Um, if you've had nothing but fantastic dealings with Huacan, then fantastic, you know, keep going on what you believe and you know. Um, works for you. Uh, that's all I can say on that matter but I just wanted to give you my views. Um, so thank you so much for watching um, I will be back when my ever moment lands and I can get uh, started on that one but in the meantime I'm going to do some of these small ones. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.